What's up? New video on a short notice today because I got something special to announce, um, which is I am now officially an affiliate for Insta360. Quick backstory. So the other day, I think about a week ago, I got a message from Insta360, from the official account of Insta360, and they were asking for uh, some clips that I made to get featured on their Instagram page. With that, they also told me about this affiliate program that they're doing, so I can provide a link for viewers on this channel or for people on the Instagram, basically everywhere, every uh, social media platform that leads you to the Insta360 store. And when you buy a camera over that link, I get a certain amount of money for it. Which basically means that all of you people that commented that they want to get an Insta360, now is your time. Or basically, there is no time limit, but if you ever thought about it and you haven't bought one yet, hit the link in the description and get me that money. <laughs> I'm not doing the trick list yet. Um, you guys gave some really great um, suggestions for tricks and I'm gonna write them all down. But right now I'm just gonna do some chill stuff and just gonna wait maybe another week for that trick list. So I have a really long list actually of stuff that I can really get into. Um, without any further ado, I'm just gonna get straight into it now. One thing I'm gonna do additionally to filming a few tricks is going over some more tips on how to use the camera properly or well the tips that I would recommend uh, again it's not like these are rules or anything but I feel if you follow those recommendations you get more out of your shot if you want to get into the basic tips I did a video on that previously I'm gonna put the link up there now I know where it is and I'm gonna get into just a few more improvements right now so the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you get your camera close to the action. I said something quite similar on the other video, but I did not really get more into that. So it's just like when you're filming fisheye, make sure that you're close to your action. And again, think your trick through, that was, that was a thing before. Um, you wanna make sure to observe the whole spot. For instance, if it's a round ledge, um, rather put the camera on top than on the bottom because on the bottom uh, the curve might disappear in the video so you won't really notice it um, but then again if you want to uh, if you don't think that it's necessary and the trick looks better the other way that's fine and one other thing that I think is really important that I didn't really discuss on the last video was make sure that when you're editing your footage you watch the start frame and the end frame it's the same thing when it comes to regular fisheye filming. Make sure that you have an appealing starting frame. Um, for instance, it's pretty easy to film on a regular flat rail. So I'm gonna use that as an example now. If you look at the starting frame, you can see the spot in the corner, maybe even pushed up, almost up to the middle. It depends on how uh, close you are to the spot and you see the skater, in that case me, approach also from the other corner. Make sure that your skater goes through the whole image. That way you don't have any dead space, if you can actually call it that way, but you just use your whole image and it makes it more appealing to watch. So you let your skater enter the image and then you follow him through. So during the trick, it's perfect um, if you get the skater right in the center. And then as the skater uh, finishes his trick, rolls away from the spot, make sure that you go back to the other way. So you have the rail in the other corner and the skater disappearing in the opposite corner. So uh, yeah, with the regular flat rail, it's pretty easy. So, um, but that's just an easier way to show you what I mean. Um, with ledges, it's pretty much the same thing again. But if you go for, let's say, jump ramps or any other types of gaps, it might be more challenging. 
and also this does not always uh, apply like every other tip as well so just try to to go for that the good thing about the uh, 360 cameras is you can try over and over again and delete your previous attempt on the follow cam see what works best for you i found myself um really enjoying that way i usually film fisheye as well so i'm trying to have the spot in a corner so you know where the skater is heading to you have the skater in the other corner and going through the image and then you're following him the skater is in the center the skater drops lands the trick i hope he doesn't fall so he just yeah lands the trick rolls away and from that point on i always leave the camera as it is so i don't uh, do anything else after the skater lands so um let the skater just roll away roll into the corner maybe roll out of the image if that works better i hope that help some of you really get more out of your really nicely set up shot so just go ahead and try it and I will go ahead and try some tricks now too All right, so that's it for today. Um, session turned out pretty fun. I didn't expect anything else actually, but about like 10 to 15 minutes after I started skating, um, park got pretty crowded and it doesn't take too many people there. So as soon as you have like five people around, it's at least too crowded to film with a 360 camera because you have to place it in the park. Nevertheless, I think I got enough clips to make a good video. I haven't had a look at them yet, but they felt pretty good, so I will just use them. If you are thinking about getting an Insta360, make sure to hit the link in the description because through this affiliate program, 5 to 10% of the money will go into my pocket and your support is highly appreciated. I think it goes without saying, but I will say it nevertheless. All the money that I make of this um, affiliate program and also that I made of the frames of the Karma Police as I was talking about in the in the other video will go strictly into skating mostly into buying new pants actually but that's a different story <laughs> yeah skating is like 90% pants I think different topic yeah, that's it for today. If you have any questions about 360 cameras, if you have any other questions or uh, suggestions for future videos or basically anything video related or skating related, leave them in the comments. I'm trying to reply to everyone. Make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe and yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in and see you next time. Keep skating.